Hi, Monique. Hi, David. How are you? Good, good. Um, welcome to this New York edition of Essential Experts. Thank you. So, Monique, yes. let's start off with the simple question of what is Money 2020? Money 2020 is the premier event where we bring the payments, fintech, and financial services industry and ecosystem uh, to this show over four days to talk about how you save, borrow, move, um, and maximize money. And so uh, we've been doing this for about eight years now, and it's been a fantastic way to unite this industry. What you're not saying is <laughs> it's a lot of fun, and it's in the Venetian Hotel in Las Vegas. That's right. But it's also a really big show, right? It is. And that's maybe one of your challenges. Yeah, I think a show of this size, it's not just about putting on great learnings and giving great networking opportunities, but you really do have to think about how you're going to please an entire ecosystem um, with different needs. And so you have to plan for not only having over 500 speakers or 500 exhibitors, um, but there's many shows within the show. It's all about how you create the intimacy, how do you create the networking that's valuable to the attendees. Um, you also have to think about that you're putting together the right type of content that can be um, accessed and interesting to the entire ecosystem. So it can be a challenge at time, but it's a fun challenge. We have a good time with it. So given all of that, what new things are you going to be introducing to the show in October? Uh, so there's a couple of things. I think what we're hearing from our delegates is that they want more of a deeper dive into certain aspects of the content that we're putting together. Um, so we're going to be talking about unique, more unique commercial models that can be put together, innovation models, uh, talk about how uh, the next financial crisis is definitely going to be a cybersecurity crisis. Um, all of the unique M&A activity that's happening within the industry um, and also just kind of talking through really cool technical advances that are happening. So kind of bringing that all under this one umbrella as well as really launch some new items and programs this year. Um, one of them being a C-suite focused program where it's invite only, only open to about 100 selected um, CEOs and C-suite participants and giving them their own unique experience within Money 2020, um, as well as increasing a lot of uh, networking opportunities than what we've done in the past. Now, I know that you do a ton of research before you put on the show for the content, for the offering and everything. What is it that customers in the, in the fintech space are really worrying about or thinking about deeply right now? Um, how to be innovative. The innovation aspect is truly very important. Um, I think, you know, in the U.S. we can be a little bit slower with innovation because there's so many rules and things that you have to follow different when you're dealing with other countries and other regions. And so really, how can we bring what we're seeing out in the market in the other areas to the U.S. and how we can kind of implement that better? Um, I think another thing is really kind of understanding the M&A activity. How is the new value propositions coming together for consumers and customers? And so really kind of digging deeper into that aspect. And I think we're going to be doing a really good job of putting that together for our stage. I'm super excited about all of the new content we're bringing to the stage. That's great. Uh, it sounds like it's going to, the Money 2020 has really evolved into having lots of different conversations it for is. different communities and the audience is floating across those different communities, communities as they need across the show. So it's getting really kind of quite detailed and, uh, and quite rich in a way, whereas I guess at the beginning it was a bit more of a big bang show with the, all the new technologies. Yeah, it was new. It was a new show and now we're in our eighth year and so um, we don't, we no longer have that shine on us anymore. So we do have to constantly evolve and think about new ways of how we can keep our delegates coming. Some of our delegates have been coming for eight years and so you have to bring something new to the table and we have to make sure that we are showcasing really good innovative content and that we are bringing the ecosystem and the people that they want to meet. They can literally come to our show and have four months of meetings in just four days. I mean, where, can, where else can you do that at? So with all of this going on, what is it, you know, you're running a huge show uh, in a very hot industry with a lot going on. What, what are you thinking about right now? I'm thinking about how are we going to pull all this off <laughs> in a very timely manner. But um, also I'm thinking about, I just, you know, I'm all about the delegate experience. In the end, we can put all of this together, but if they aren't finding value, 
if they aren't enjoying the experience, if they aren't connecting with the people that they want to connect to, they're not going to come back. This is not going to um, create any type of stickiness for them to come to the show. And so I'm always thinking about the delegate experience. And I know in the end, if the delegate is happy, everything else will fall into place. Money. I'm so looking forward to going to Vegas in October. I know you've got some secret things you're not revealing oh to me my today. God, we do. That's going to be fun. Um, but also, you know, highly valuable. Thank you very much for our chat today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.